Hi guys, I'm Chloe. And I'm Josh. And, and today, today we're going to be talking, talking to you about reflux. So what is reflux uh, mainly used for? So the main purpose is to boil liquid and condense it. And then that condensed liquid is going to return back to that original flask. And so the main purpose is to heat the solution in a controlled manner at a constant temperature. So you're going to be boiling that liquid indefinitely without losing the volume and you'll be preventing the loss of the solvent, which is very key to this experiment. Um, and then in chemistry, it supplies energy to reactions over long periods of time. So what is the underlying science behind reflux? Essentially, the net change in the volume of the solvent is going to be zero. Um, and the solvent vapors are going to be trapped by the vertical condenser, and this is in contrast to distillation where you have a horizontal condenser. Um, the concentration of the reactants remains con constant throughout the experiment, and um, you're going to have a volatile solvent, so that's what's going to um, turn into the gas phase, and then the non-volatile solute, which is going to remain um, in the flask. So first what you're going to do is you're going to obtain the required amount of the solution, so you're going to use pour the solution directly into the graduated cylinder using a pipette and then transfer that directly into the round bottom flask which should already have a stir bar inside next you should attach the round bottom flask to a vertical condenser column with a metal clamp so that way it allows for greater structural support and integrity do not use a plastic clip because this is going to be a heating experiment so there's a very good chance that it will melt and the vapors can escape and possibly ignite. So next, you, once you attach it with the clamp, attach another metal clamp around the middle part of the vertical condenser column and attach that to another ring stand to allow greater support and stability for the whole apparatus. Then you're gonna attach two rubber hoses. One hose is on the lower arm of the vertical condenser column, which is where water is gonna be entering in, cold water. And then the upper arm is gonna be another hose where water will be leaving. So basically there will be a constant circulation of water throughout the vertical condenser column. Then at the bottom you're going to attach a sand bath basically with sand along the sides of the round bottom flask. Basically the sand is supposed to help insulate the round bottom flask and trap heat inside. Then once all the apparatus and everything is set up you start turning the heat and you should see that the solution is starting to boil and as the solution boils you should observe a small reflux ring along the lower one-third region of the vertical condenser column and basically a reflux ring is basically the upper limit where hot vapors are actively condensing so the reflux time period is basically when you see this lower one-third region of the one-third region of the vertical column where the reflux ring is observed and continues observing it until you see the reflux ring occur at around one half of the vertical condenser column. Once it reaches that mark, turn off the heat and try to raise the apparatus above the sand bath so that way that the brown bottom flask can cool down and all the vapors traveling in and out can condense back into the solution. And then afterwards, you know, clean off all disposed, clean off all used materials and dispose of all materials in their proper designated locations. Thanks for watching our reflex video. See y'all soon.